Hello everyone. This is Suresh. After long time, I came back to my YouTube channel for making a video. In this video, we are going to explore about SBA communication. In this SBA communication, we have four modes: mode zero, two, mode three, mode zero, mode one, mode two, mode three. In this mode, making little bit confusion for beginners. and expert also now we are going to explore and i am going to explain about these modes in sba communication right right in this sba communication protocol have a set of registers now we are going to look into that sbcr and sbdr and sbsr this is the three registers these three registers is an 8 bit registers sbcr which means sbi control register and sbdr means sbi data register and sbsr is the sbi status status register SBCO is a total control of SBA communication here SBCO it has an 8 bit SBIE and SBE DORD and master and so on SBIE means enable the SBI then this bit is set as on SBE SBI enable when this bit is set as n1 data ord d ord data order if you set this bin as 1 then the lsb is going to first if you set this bit as 0 then the msb is going to be first mstr we can able to set that controller as a master also we can able to set as a slave if you set this bit as an 1 it's going to act as an master if you set this bit is 0 then it's going to act as a slave these are all defining in this spco register and this c face and c polarity which means clock face and clock polarity is defining these four modes mode 0 to mode 3 and spr1 and spr0 is going to be the speed of the data transaction between master and slave if you are going to set spr1 and spr0 equal 1 the is going to fastest move if you set this is 1 and 1 is going to be 50 kilohertz so lowest baud rate right now we need to configure or uh, initialize this spc or register which we are going to send the data from master to slave so here we need to come back we just type it sbi and come back to this is an sbi i already study a lot about sba but i want to make this video as a crispy and little bit within a 5 or 10 minutes i want to explain everything about this sba so that's what i just move it here yeah this is we want to initiate we want to initialize that sbi 
as a master first we need to set the data direction registers if you are not only in SBI in every controller if you are going to use a pin then we want to make it the we want to make it configure or we want to make it a set that pin is going to be used as high input or output we want to define previously we need to configure it before using any pins or port which is going to be used as input or output so it's going to be okay and here which is the mosi and clock is required for act as a master other pins not required while this controller act as a master because clock only providing the master master is only providing the clock so the pin should be act as an output and mosi master out slave in obviously mosi act as the pin act as an output pin so we are going to ddr register set this two bits as an one other five bits remaining five bits six bits we are going to left as a zero which is all other remaining expect except these two pins act as an inputs these two pins act as an output pins after initializing or configuring then we want to move to sbi control registers we already talked about this right right if we want to enable the sbi then we want to enable this sbe git as an one here which is going to be one this sixth bit is going to be one the time the sbi going to enable then we want to this controller act as a master then we are going to this bit set one which means seven six five four four pin is going to be set as an one right that time here is act as a master and spr work here we are going to one and make it is a zero this is zero and this is one means middle of this two because zero zero is the fastest in sbi one one is slowest in sbi so we are setting zero and one so it's gonna be one mahertz or maybe two mahertz right so after finishing to initiate a master we want to send a data from master to slave it has controlled by other registers which is here i have already mentioned this is the control register and this is the data register data register and this is the status register sb data register this is the buffer of that sbi if you want to send any data we just put the data into that buffer then it automatically the sbi hardware send from master to slave through mosi pin in series while the clock is every clock bit every clock tick have each bit is moving from shifted out from master through mosi pin to slave right 
this is going to be take care of this register data register is simply hold bytes for example the SBA data register holds byte holds the byte which is about the shifter out the MOSI line and the data has just has been shifted in the MISO line this is other side of slave this is the controller send it from master to slave right and here that's what we are making here we are we want to send after initializing or after setting after setting the SBI then we want to use it for transfer the data from master to slave this piece of code do it that activity if you pass a data into this function then it's going to be moved to SBI data register this is the buffer of the SBI register data register this is going to be sent bit by bit through MOSI 20 from master to slave right that's what here it is so I made a simple code for you now I am explaining this is an Arduino I used Arduino Nano Admiha 328 pin this is connected with COM7 now now you can see here now this is the character which I want to send from master to slave and you know about Arduino cases and wire setup and while loop and function initiation I just initiate a master I just make it as a function master initiation the data direction register the ddd5 ddd3 and ddd2 going to set as an one in data direction b port b this is going to be used right we are going to check it again dd This is the clock, right? So I'm set it. This is gonna be output, right? And DDB3. This is gonna be MOSI. This is gonna be, I already told you, clock and MOSI is going to be output in this port and slave select this is also going to be output pin ddb2 which i have already set it right and now i came back to sbr cr control register sba control register which is already we have set it right we want we want to enable the SBI so SBE pin should be enabled here and the master pin now I am going to this controller act as and make it as an master so I just set it to 1 here if you set this master bit and this is going to see this act as a master right and spro and spr1 this is which is defining the speed of the data transaction between master and slave this is the clock speed which is defined and c 
see face and see polarity which makes you maybe confusion this is only defining the modes from mode 0 to mode 3 four modes are there right now after initialization i'm going to i want to we want to transfer a data piece of data from master to slave through more cp right i already told you right sbd or sba data register which is it's a kind of buffer if you want to share a data to to this if you want to put a if you just to put the data into this register then it's going to be same from master to slave through mosi pen every clock bit each bit by bit seriously is going to shifted out from master to slave through mosi pen right now i am calling this function here so it's going to act i'm going to set and then i just called it and just make it as you can see now it is want to explain not record i think you just understand what i'm doing here i just make it this way my name is Suresh, and i just see this is n this s u r by every loop every execution each of this right now we are going to see the SBI modes from mode 0 to mode 3. Here it is. This is the mode 0, <coughs> which means here we want to set C polarity type C polarity, and you got these modes SBI modes, right. mode 0 polarity 0 and phase 0 clock polarity if you set this clock polarity is 0 that time the default state of the clock is low if you set this polarity clock polarity is 1 that time the default state of ideal time ideal time then default clock state is high here you can see the difference between this and this <coughs> if you set 0 the clock polarity is set 0 the ideal state while ideal state the SPI clock line is low if you set the polarity is 1 the clock ideal state is high sorry ideal state is high right if you set clock phase is zero that time the clock is here here clearly explained in data sheet admiha 328 data sheet if you set this clock polarity is 0 here the default ideal state of the clock is low if you set clock polarity is 1 the default ideal state of the clock is high if you set here this is clock phase if you set clock phase is 0 the data is captured or sampled from rising edge every rising edge the data is transferred or sampled or try to shift 
if you set clock phase is one the data is transferred every falling edge means trailing edge right you can see now every clock trailing edge the data is transferred sampled or try to shift out here it is if you set the clock polarity is zero the default state means ideal state of the clock is low if you set clock one the default state of the ideal clock state is high you got it if you set clock phase is zero which is the data is sampled every rising edge now you can see it right if you set this clock phase one every falling edge which you take for sampling and try to shift out now we are going to explore and visualizing that SBI modes I have make a simple setup I have used some hardware and software tools for visualizing that SBI modes that clock phase especially clock phase and polarity how it is work how it is communicating between a master and slave I just hooked here in my table I have a two Arduino boards and I have a own logic analyzer I just connected two Arduino boards through SBI pins and in between I have connected the logic analyzer I just hooked that bus line here I just I just want to show this is, I have made it Arduino Nano and just I compile it and upload it yeah now it's uploaded and now I'm opening that logic analyzer tool. this is called Sally logic analyzer I have hooked with between the master and slave lines I just make this one million sample per on my hats I just ranked now we are going to step by step this is going to be zero and zero clock phase and clock polarity is going to zero we are going to explore the mode zero clock phase zero and clock polarity is also zero I just compile it and run it yeah now run it I just open it that silly logic analyze see the default clock ideal state is low this is the first byte I have sent which is yes we send now and this is going to be this is the data and this is the clock and this is the the chip select line this is the clock line this is the clock line and this is the data line and this is the chip select line every ideal state after every sending the ideal state of the clock is low and 
the data is captured from lineage right I just make it a snip into a little bit for our purpose I just want to make it this is uh, going to be more zero right close it and we are going to what this next polarity is zero and face is one we are going to again check it we are going to change that phase is now 1 polarity is same 0 right and I am compiling again and uploading that's it and open it now I captured Yes, U, yes, U, yes, U, R, E, S, H, totally, right? Six letters are there, right? So, I just send it. This is for S clock, this is for U, R, E, S, H. Now, as you can see, the default idle state of the clock is low. But the data sampling every rising edge, sorry, setup is rising and sample is falling. Right, we are going to make this and one snipping. Save it. This is going to be one. And then clock polarity is one, clock phase is zero. Clock polarity is one, clock phase is zero. Just compile it and run it. Yeah, finished. And then I just reset it. now you can clearly see between every clock pulse right? the default ideal state here is high right in previous case the default clock for every byte bit transaction by transaction the default state of the clock ideal state of the clock is low from here to here rising now now you can see clearly see between these lines is default high state ideal state now we are going to take it as a snip right this is going to be mode 2 But the line the sampled by falling edge and setup is rising edge. Right. Now we are going to set clock polarity is one, also clock phase is also one. Now we are going to set phase is also one it and run it upload okay now I just push it now the clock ideal state is high between every clock that every data transaction the clock 
ideal state is high because we are already set clock polarity is 1 so that's what here is reflecting right and the setup is falling and sampling is rising edge setup is falling and sampling is rising edge every rising edge clock rising edge is this is a rising edge set up already set up and this is the rising edge right you can see now uh, this is the rising edge right this this right right we are going to make it Nothing. This is not three. Now we are comparing these four modes, which is already we have take a snipping. This is mode zero and mode one and mode 2 This is mode 0, mode 1, mode 2, mode 3. Mode 0, the default ideal state of the clock is low. But compared with mode 2, the default state of the clock ideal state is high. Here, now you can see clearly, see, this is mode 2 and mode 3. This is the same the default ideal clock state is high but mode 0 and mode 1 the default ideal state of the clock is low this and clock phase this is going to be clock phase 0 which means here clock phase is 0 right here you can easily understand clock phase is zero this is going to be mode zero this is the other line mode zero now we are going to analyze this first clock signal and this line clock phase is zero clock polarity is zero which is mode zero in this case the clock every rising edge clock is sampled the data is sampled every rising edge the data is sampled right here every rising edge of the clock data is sampled every rising edge only the data is sampled captured which means to transfer or shifted out or shifted in right clock polarity and clock phase is one polarity is zero and phase is one we are going to sorry polarity one and phase is zero polarity one and phase is 0 which is 2 mode 2 we are going to see that's mode 2 polarity is 1 right polarity is 1 which is 
default idle state is the clock is high and sampled by every calling edge right sampled by calling edge right here already told right calling edge this is clock phase is 0 and clock polarity is 0 1 the default state of the clock ideal state is high every falling edge of the clock the data is try to shift it out or in this is called mode 2 and mode 1 now we are discussed about mode 1 mode 0 and mode 2 and we are going to mode 1 and mode 3 mode 1 clock polarity is 0 and clock phase is 0 which is mode 1 clock polarity is 0 which means the default clock state ideal state is low when we want to we are going to transfer the data that time only the clock is from low to high right this is a default state ideal state when you are going to try to transfer this data that time only from low to high it's wake up okay and every more this is mode one right mode one is here the default state of the clock ideal state is zero and the sample is every falling edge right here every sorry every rising edge mode one right every rising edge Sample is falling edge and setup is rising edge. Correct, exactly correct. So falling edge only. Sample is transferred or captured or try to transfer, shifted out every falling edge. But setup is rising edge. This is the setup. Every rising edge. And here it is set a piece rising and transfer piece falling edge this is the falling edge set a piece transfer the sampling is every falling edge and mode 3 clock face and clock polarity is 1 mode Three. clock polarity is 1 the default ideal state of the clock is high the setup is setup is falling edge right the setup is falling edge and the sampling is rising edge right here it is sampled which means the data is tried to move which is try to move this is going to be when the clock is going to rise the setup is falling edge this is called mode 3 we are going to look at this one and we are going to this one okay this is going to be i already you these are the four modes mode 0 mode 1 mode 2 mode 3 now you can 
clearly see the clock line here, here. And now you can see clearly setup is node zero is rising edge. Sampling is rising edge and setup is falling edge. Right? And you can see clearly see setup is rising edge and sampling is falling edge here. Okay guys, I hope this is going to be interesting of you. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and click the bell icon for further notification and further videos. Thanks for watching.